Hey folks, Chris, Kentucky Woodsman. I was tagged by Coyote238 in Show Us Your Nostalgic Gear, and uh, it has taken me a couple weeks to get to it, but I am finally able to take the time to show you some of my, some of my nostalgic gear. Um, the first piece I'd like to show you is this reel right here. It is a Shakespeare True Blue 1956. Excuse the dust on it. It's been sitting in my garage on display for a while now. But uh, I remember as a kid, this was my dad's, and I remember as a kid trying to use this. And uh, I'll be the first to say that this particular piece of fishing equipment, you better know what you're doing or you're going to have the awfulest bird's nest that ever was. And that's exactly what happened to me. And I kept thinking I would like to try to use it. But the more I looked at it, I thought, you know, it's worth more to me just keeping it and displaying it than it was to actually use it. But that's, uh, that's a pretty neat piece of fishing gear. I do not have the rod that it was on anymore, but I do have the reel. The second piece of gear I want to show you is this knife. Now this was my dad's as well. All it says on the blade is Sologen. And excuse the dog barking in the background. I'm not sure what she sees or hears, but she's decided she wants to take a barking fit. But this particular knife, I'm about positive, comes from Germany. I've only other, seen one other one of these, and that was on uh, Really Big Monkey's channel. And he's got one just exactly like it. My dad was in World War II, and I think this come back with him when he returned from the war. I don't think he used it in the war, but I think he bought it or acquired it while he was over there. Like I said, solid and steel. It's got a stag stag handle. Just a really nice piece to collect and keep. Okay, the next piece of gear I want to show you is this Victor steel trap, smooth the jaws steel trap. Now my dad and all my uncles were all hunters and fishermen and trappers and just general outdoorsmen and uh, as far as I know this is one of the last traps maybe the last trap of this of the gear that they used to have to most people I'm sure a steel trap is not nostalgic gear but I've always hung on to it I've had this for years and uh, have kind of put it in my bunch of treasures the next piece of gear I'd like to show you is the double bed this double bed axe I don't know exactly how old this axe is I know it's at least 40 to 50 years old my dad had it as long as I can remember and now I've got it it is a, a true temper double bit. It's got a lot of pitting in the head of it and everything. I've tried to clean it up and tried to keep it old, but it looks like the rust is getting back to it despite what I've tried to do. So I probably need to get it out and clean it up again. But uh, it still does the job. And um, the handle is, the original handle has long since been replaced. This is actually a hand carved, hand whittled handle. I don't remember who my dad had. To, my dad may have actually whittled this himself. I don't remember for sure. But I remember my dad hanging this axe head on this handle. And I remember, it, I do know it's a handmade handle. So that's kind of neat. And the last piece of gear I want to bring out is my Dietz number two made in the USA 
hurricane lantern. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is an original Dietz. This was also my dad's. He always called it his milking lantern. It does still work. I do think it has a small leak in the uh, seal on the tank, but it doesn't affect its use. It's just a small seep. Not really a, a leak, but just a seep. And I could probably fix that, but I've long since retired this piece of gear too. All this stuff is uh, comes from my family. I actually have a lot of other gear that maybe one of these days I'll pull out and show. I have an antique tool collection. I have a uh, in that collection I have a two-man crosscut saw. I have. Uh, Stanley 110 planes, Hard Rock Maple planes. I have uh, all of my Uncle Marshall's cabinet making tools. So, like I said, maybe one of these days I'll pull that gear out. But for now, there's my Shakespeare open face reel, my German straight knife, uh, buoy knife. Bushcraft knife, steak knife, not sure what the Germans used this for, but it did come from Germany. A Victor steel trap and my Dietz lantern. Hope you enjoyed the gear. Apologize for the dog barking. She's happy to see me. I've been gone to work all week. And she's trying to tell me to get out in the yard and play. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go play with the German Shepherd and throw a stick. Okay, I want to thank Coyote238 for tagging me in this video, and I want to return the tags to some other good channels out there. First off, I want to tag Willie's Adventures. I also want to tag Carolina Chris Outdoors, and I want to tag Alan Hoyt, aka Budget Bushcrafter. If you've already been tagged or you've already done a video and I've not seen it yet, I apologize. But if you would like to join into this uh, tag video session, feel free to jump in. Love to see what you got. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you on down the trail.